my name is Dorka Swagio. I'm a climate activist from Kenya. I am based in Mombasa. I do have a, a, an, an NGO called uh, Mazingira Pamoja Initiative, whereby we work to restore the mangrove ecosystem and also empower girls in terms of the menstrual hygiene uh, practices and uh, having programs in school to be able to uh, create awareness on the climatic change happening in our nation. So basically, we are, I'm here in COP28. I believe Africa and Kenya being in Africa faces the adverse effects of climate change. And these issues need to be addressed here at COP28. We have seen the leaders uh, promising 100 billion, but they haven't still yet accomplished their goals. So we want them to take action. That's why I'm here today to demand for adaptation finance. We have seen droughts in parts of Af Kenya. There was flooding just the other day in Mombasa, where houses were swept away, business were destroyed farms were destroyed, roads were destroyed, and we need, we have lost billions and not billions. That's why we are here today to demand for adaptation finance because we believe the $400 a million price by the world leaders is still not yet enough to to help us adapt to where we were. So we need this money in billions and not in millions. And we need uh, uh, the world leaders to take, to talk, to talk with this uh, action seriously because we cannot move forward unless they listen to us. So we are asking for them to take meaningful actions towards tackling climate crisis, to avoid more uh, impacts happening to, our, uh, to Africa. Do you think the world leaders are ready to listen to young people like you? So I believe they are still like 50-50, uh, but I'm glad because they have this, they are showing a willingness uh, to listen to us and that's why uh, we are pushing for more for them to listen to us more not just like halfway they need to listen to us more because we are the, the leaders of today and the future and our life depends on what they decide so we need them to listen to us and to take uh, climate climate action seriously in Mombasa sometimes I deal with the menstrual uh, hygiene uh, uh, awareness and I have seen girls experiencing menstrual poverty and I'm tr next year I'll be working on projects within the local area to see how I can help the girls in Kuala County be able to go back to school because you find a quite number of them are missing out from school because one they lack the menstrual hygiene kits they are so expensive right now to buy them and we need to cap this issue we need more girls and women in leadership position taking uh going through the education system to get uh, equipped with the skills that they need to become leaders of tomorrow and today also we're experiencing a lot of uh, drought seasons and uh, flooding that's happening in in the, in the country and this is all because of them uh, the uh, the carbon that has gone to the atmosphere causing climate change issues and we need to uh, address these issues now because africa emits less than 3% of the global emissions, but we experience the most adverse effects of climate change. And we need to be at the forefront because we are but our voices matter and we need the system to change. What do you want now at COP28 in Dubai? We want adaptation finance now.